Good morning guys. It is August 26th. Today is my last first day of college. So I'm still in bed because I'm exhausted as you can tell. But we are about to get up and get ready for the day and make a breakfast burrito. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. And do our makeup all the above to our hair. We're taking it back to old school vlog vibes with a phone because my camera decided to not charge. So it's just chilling there uncharged like seven percent which is amazing but yeah let's get up let's go make food and then we'll get ready i'm hungry so food first then get ready <laughs> steak in it so now i have lettuce and tomatoes no meat it's tough to be alive now i think societal collapse is in the air everything's going fine and i have glass on my foot but everything's fine anyways i'm just gonna get ready for the day and then i'll eat cereal <laughs> my mom literally had to tweeze the glass out of my skin okay there is done i just have my mini twists in a bun, now makeup. All ready for the day. So yeah, I'm 18 years old, turn 19 next February, and I'm a senior in college. I wanted to kind of talk about like how I went about that because that is something that I just haven't talked about, mainly because I just didn't want to make that my whole personality. And it's also something that like I didn't, I, I haven't skipped a grade. I have never like really accelerated the traditional normal way. So it's not like I skipped like four grades in that time in college senior year at 18. But I did do a couple things and I went to a special school and I'll talk about all of that right now the first thing the biggest main thing 70 something college credits how many credits did I get? 71 i graduated it's up there i graduated with 71 college credit from my high school and that is really what allowed me to enter college so i entered college as a junior and so the biggest thing of how i've been able to do this is i went to a special college that allowed me to take college classes as a high school student so i was taking college classes from 10th grade and i took college classes 10th grade 11th grade 12th grade up until when i graduated and it also just worked out that the same
same high school that I was taking college classes at in high school is also the college that I went to for my bachelor's. So all of my credits transferred over like seamlessly, like I didn't have to do any work or any transfer process. Like some of my friends who decided to go to other universities, you have to like go through their whole transferring process and like providing all the syllabi for the classes and making sure that the courses really line up in terms of like what material is taught. But I have to do it all, any of that since I went to essentially the same school because my credits were taken at the same college that I am at now. So also on that is I did, I do think that I worked pretty hard in college or in college, what? In high school to get the 71 credits because I did also graduate first in my class, which I think I talked about have I talked about it on this channel? I don't know, but if I did or didn't, I also graduated as a valedictorian in college. So I had the highest GPA and I had the most college classes out of my graduating class. So that was pretty cool. So I did work hard in college to like really make sure, or in high school, to really make sure that I was taking as many college classes as I could in high school. And they start you off, or at least in my school, I know there's other schools, so I'll talk about that in a bit, but they at my school, they start you off with like pretty easy chill college classes like art and English and Spanish classes that don't really feel like college classes and I also took like my first college classes over the pandemic so I was in 10th grade in 2020 so I started like my spring semester of 10th grade was when the pandemic hit lockdown hit and that was like when I started taking college classes so my college my first few college classes were online I didn't take an in-person college class until 11th grade because fall of 11th grade year so basically if you live in the united states i'm sorry i don't know if this is like something you can do if you're an international because i know some of my viewers are international students or they don't go to school in the u.s but if you do live in the united states or canada i know that there are some programs so they're called early college programs and they allow students to accelerate in college like just look it up you might be surprised there might be an early college school near you some early college high schools are associated with two-year colleges like community colleges colleges and others are associated with four-year colleges. I don't really think it matters too much, but if you plan on like, if you know that the four-year college, like how do I say this? So like for me, there's other high schools, like public high schools in my area that offer concurrent enrollment in high school so you can do college classes while you're also in high school, but like they cap, they put a cap on the amount of courses that you can take. So you can only take like 20 credits, which is about seven classes. And that was like the maximum for any public high school in my area. So I was making the choice between going to public high school where I would only be able to do maximum 20 college credits and they were pretty even more random like now in like history or art or philosophy like you could only do college classes in those specific areas like they wouldn't really let you do STEM college classes as much because those are harder. But yeah so I was in between those types of schools and my early college school and for me it was like a no-brainer like it wasn't the choice of which school I was going to go to because I knew that the early college school would allow me to do the most number of college classes. Like at my school, you can do as many college classes as you can fit into your schedule. Really the hardest thing about an early college is you do have like your high school your high school classes that you do still have to balance with your college classes. So there's things you have to take to like graduate high school in your state. So like driver's ed and PE and little things like that. You have to balance those classes with your college classes. So it kind of limits, like especially if you're a STEM major like me, it limited the amount of classes that I could take. Like I wasn't able to take biology, which is my major. I'm a bio major, but I wasn't able to start taking like bio 101 until my senior year of high school, just because every year, every semester before that, that I was allowed to take college classes, it would just would not match up with my schedule because it's 8 a.m. or the lab is at an odd time or you know just things it didn't work out but yeah so that is kind of like the main thing of how I am a senior in high school at 18 is because of that school and because of that program and because of the college credits that I was able to accumulate in high school and that is how I am now a 18 year old senior in high school. so it is pretty cool I mean I know some people like it's when my mom tells her friends and they're talking to me they're like they people like okay I don't feel any type of way about it because like it is the norm for me like all of my friends well not all my friends but like the friends that i went to high school with like we all graduated from the same high school we all graduated with college credits they're also accelerated like we're all accelerated for our age so for me like it, i never felt like abnormal or like out of place or anything until people still started pointing it 
out to me because <laughs> like I never felt any type of way about how I went to school and me graduating or anything like that until people started pointing it out to me. And even now, like I'm just, I'm trying to like not internalize other people's thoughts and perceptions about me because I feel like it's just none of my business. Like I don't feel a type of way about it. So I am trying not to let other people make me feel a type of way about it. But I'm really excited because I literally finished college next year. So this is like my last chance to like vlog in college and really take you guys through my last year of college. So definitely look out because we're gonna get more vlogs. We're gonna get more study content because you guys love that. So I'm gonna make a bunch of videos on like how I study and different study tools and techniques you can use. And also reading. I haven't talked about books on my channel in months, but also because I've kind of been in a reading slump for like the majority of the year. But yeah, so I just wanted to pop in, say that. Honestly, I think that's it for this video at least. If you haven't already, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below and I will see you guys next week for a new video. Bye!